Hey guys, uh, today we will be looking at our dimensional analysis. So what is dimensional analysis? In these videos, it is simply a way of breaking down properties in terms of very basic physical dimensions. So generally length in meters, times in seconds, mass in kilograms, and sometimes temperature in Kelvin. So let us begin with a simple example. Force is defined by the mass times by the acceleration uh, by Newton's second law. So mass is in uh, kilograms, uh, acceleration is going to be in meters per second squared, and the force is generally measured in newtons. So essentially what this dimensional analysis is telling us is a newton is going to be equivalent to one kilogram meter per, per second squared. So essentially if you wanted to uh, denote the force of an object, you can use say for example 50 newtons, or you could use say 50 kilogram meters per second squared as they are equivalent terms. Moving on to pressure, pressure is uh, defined as the force on the area. Pressure is uh, measured generally in, kilopas in pascals, and uh, the force is going to be in newtons, and the area is going to be in our meter squared. So if you, uh, since we found newtons to be equal to kilogram meters per second squared here, what a pascal will equal to is kilogram meters per second squared all over the meter squared, which will simplify to kilograms on meters second squared. So essentially, if you wanted, say, 50, kilo, 50 pascals, you can do 50 or pascals and generate it that way, which is the easy way, or if you really wanted to, you could do 50 kilograms on meter, meter second squared. Uh, volume and our temperature are already uh, simplified as is. Volume is going to be in meters cubed, and a meter is one of the fundamental uh, or the basic um, basic quantities. And uh, temperature is going to be in Kelvin, and there's no way to simplify that any further. So uh, let us move on to our energy. If we look at kinetic energy, first of all, kinetic energy is defined by the equation half mv squared. Now, constants are of no consequence in our dimensional analysis, so we will neglect this constant altogether. Now, the mass is in uh, kilograms, and the velocity is in meters per second, and the kinetic energy is measured in joules, and the velocity is going to be squared. So, essentially, a joule is equal to a kilogram meter squared per second squared. To verify this, we can look at our gravitational potential energy, which is measured in, uh, which is uh, quantified by mg by the equation mgh. Gravitational potential energy is in joules as well. The mass is in kilograms. The gravity, the gravitational acceleration is uh, made, is in meters per second squared. And finally, the h, the elevation, is given by um, by meters. So a joule here is equal to a kilogram meter squared per second squared, just like the kinetic energy, which verifies that what we did is correct. So now, what is the point of all this? In our thermodynamics, we will be using a lot of uh, equations. And so this method of dimensional analysis is crucial, as first, it allows us to verify certain equations. And secondly, sometimes we will need to change the magnitude of our data, and you'll see, these, and you'll see this throughout these videos. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.